brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. The grace of God is sufficient for you. The grace of God is sufficient for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You may have your seat. Thank you. Let's take it this way. The Lord so Dita Oh Thank you. We are not singing. We are talking reality. This is the reality of life. Heavens and earth may pass away. But my word shall never pass away, says the Lord. When you look at life, the antecedents, you agree that indeed the world will diminish, but only the gospel. The question, what is your life holding on? Because if your life is holding on any other thing, but not the supreme, the mighty, the great, the everlasting, the infinite, the Bible says, in the beginning was. Meaning, without the word, there was never a beginning. The word was the first to exist. And if the word was the first to exist, all other things that existed after the world will perish, but the word will remain himself. The word we are talking about is a being. We are not talking letters here. A, B, C, D. That is not the word. The word is a being. So I'm so concerned about you. What is your word holding on? What is your life holding on? Is your life holding on to the money? In the account. That is your strength. Every time you look at your account, you say, I'm so strong, I can survive for the next 10 years. You forget that you are just from a funeral where a millionaire, billionaire was buried. The billions of the account, of the dollars in the accounts, could not hold them. When you have no money, you feel unsafe. How will I survive? How will I live if I don't have money? Your strength is money. But money existed way after the word. Because money is an earthly solution, solution for earthly life. Earth came a long time after the word existed. Some of you here, your life is holding on a lie. You lied to get married. 
the woman you met, you lied to them. The identity you, you gave is not your, your very identity. So therefore, you have to keep on lying multiple times because a lie cannot sustain itself. It needs another one to hold it. The job you got, you lied. What you submitted as your CV was not necessarily your CV. You forged. That's why the certain amount getting in your salary. You are living on a lie. Even in the church here, you are still lying because you are trying to be whom you are not. You are living life of impression, impressing people. You are not true to yourself. Will you sing the same song? Everything is going to pass away. The current bears witness. The current life bears witness. Countries are reduced to rubble. Seas are furious. Winds are angry. Clouds oftentimes get upset and release more than necessary waters. So therefore, everything will pass away not far from now. If you grew up hearing people saying, Jesus is coming, and you believe it's a slogan, you can come back to your senses. It is not a slogan. Say they've been saying this. My grandmother told me she passed on. My mother told me she passed on. Until now, the same thing they are saying. Mm. You believe it's a slogan? It's not a slogan. This world is about to finish. It is only the word of God and those holding on it that will survive it. You see, your presence in the church, we believe that you are a Christian. When we see you here, the impression we normally get because you are in the church on Sunday is that you are a Christian. But are you? Are you one? Are you a Christian? What were you doing this past week? Were you confessing Jesus last week? What were you doing even last night? To many, we are living a life of lie. But the world is about to pass away. You listen to what I said. Clouds oftentimes express their anger and give more than necessary waters. Therefore, flood. Winds get upset and angry and bring about storm. Countries are reduced to rubble. You still want to tell me that the issue that the world will finish is still a notion? You want to tell me that? Let us hold on to the word of God with all our hearts. Are you there? What should we do? I'm busy in a prayer now. I want God to reduce rubble in this church. What is rubble? Rubble is the things that are in the church but not supposed that's my prayer because with rubble we lose we fight to lose we win to lose we get to lose we bring together only to scatter 
the testimony of Rabo. What we bring together, the testimony of Rabo scatters. I told you it is revival. Revival, it does not mean crowd. Revival means the spirit of Jesus taking over the ministry. That is revival. The grace of God is sufficient for you.